Here's my review of the Lord of the Rings, uh, the HarperCollins hardback edition. Um, I reviewed the Hobbit earlier on and I wanted to move on to the Lord of the Rings collection. The first thing to notice about the Lord of the Rings collection, um, other than the fact that it's in three volumes, which I really appreciate and it's the reason why I went with this edition rather than any of the commemorative one volume monsters that are out there which are very beautiful as well but I just like these because they're so wieldly they're, they're easy to uh, handle they're easy to um, pop into your bag um, uh, to, to read them during commutes and um, I think they're I think they're very nice um, a few things I'll start off with a few things that I'm not so keen on uh, the first thing being that these covers just kind of seem to stop just before would be ideal. When they're sitting on the shelf, you can see this this white on the left hand side there. Um, if they just um, took the trouble to, to continue this color, it wouldn't be difficult to do. Um, just, just uh, I don't know, five millimeters <laughs> to to the left i think it would have made a world of difference um they've paid great attention to these covers however uh in terms of their design um and the patterns that they've used on them on the inside of the dust covers you can read a little bit about um about how the design was picked um and it's uh, it's 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 just a very nice dust cover in general. Uh, in terms of the quality of the dust cover, it's the same as the as the uh, dust cover for the Hobbit that I showed you in a previous video. It's uh, it's nice thick card with a glossy interior and a very nice matte exterior that gives it a nice um, a nice feel. I thought I'd start with the dust covers on rather than off because uh, it's easier to take them off during uh, making a video than putting them back on. But I do eventually want to show you what all of these look like with their dust covers off because that's also worth seeing. can see that on the inside of these uh, books there are just blank pages um, immediately inside anyway it's not blank pages all the way for sure um, that's two and then the last one the fellowship of the ring as I noted in my previous video the monogram and the HarperCollins logo is matte and in the same color and ink as the title, as opposed to in The Hobbit, where that is shiny. And that is not just uh, a question of uh, which printing <laughs> you've got, that is the way they were made. I, 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 I checked that, <laughs> so I'm sure of it. Okay, so this is what these look like with their dust covers off. They're very handsome. They look great on the shelf without the dust covers. They look pretty good with the dust covers as well. Okay, and I will take the dust cover off The Hobbit so that you can see the difference. Du, 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 du. Here we are. So you can see that there's a unity between the um, the Lord of the Rings books um, and the Hobbit one is a slightly different format. Nevertheless, they look very good on the shelf together. All right, let me show you what's, what you get inside. 
We have the fellowship, yes, okay. On the inside, the paper is slightly thinner than the, uh, than the Hobbit, uh, than the paper used in the Hobbit. Um, let me see if I can find... Of course, this was not illustrated uh, by J.R. Tolkien, any illustrated edition that you may have would not have been illustrated by him. There are some, uh, some, some, some graphics, of course. Let me, let's have a look at what we get inside here. Nice fold out page. In color, nice and glossy. Let's see if we can find, oh, make sure I don't bend that. Here we are. Let's get a picture of the gate here. There we go. So you can see that the uh, that the paper is much thinner than in the Hobbit's uh, edition, since you can actually see through it to the to the um, to the words behind. Okay, there are no um, bookmarks or book page page marking ribbons, anything like that. Um, and uh, the following books follow uh, a very similar format. Um, quite a nice font. It's very uh, very easy to read. Very um, very easy on the eye. Very few frills. This really is a reader's edition. It's uh, not so much a, a a work of art, other than the words themselves, of course. Speaking of the edition specifically. Contains the information in a very, very easy to read format, and that seems to have been the um, the focus. get in the back of the last book the appendices of course da, 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 da. seems to be quite a comprehensive index Very comprehensive index. How many pages is that? Yes, yeah, about 40 pages, 40 pages of index. Something like 40 pages of indices. And another color map of Middle Earth. Color is a, is a Big word here. It's uh, it's not color. It's just uh, got some red on it. <laughs> I don't know what would be the equivalent of monochromatic for two colors. Um, all right. So that is the Harper Collins uh, edition of the 
Lord of the Rings.